Bells of justice tipped in favor of a California tech billionaire who got in trouble right here in Las Vegas. Well, Henry Nicholas and his companion Ashley Fargo were found in a room filled with drugs, according to police. Now, nearly a year later, some are outraged, calling the agreement offered by prosecutors a sweetheart deal. Well, 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live tonight near the strip to explain all of this. Joe. Yeah, Todd, that incident happened in August of last year at the Encore Hotel. As you said, there were various drugs found all over that hotel room, according to police. But some say a million dollar donation and no jail time is a plea deal many others wouldn't get. The pair came to Vegas for a good time, but the party ended in handcuffs. Henry Nicholas and companion Ashley Fargo busted for having 128 grams of a variety of drugs like heroin, meth, cocaine, mushrooms and ecstasy inside their Encore hotel room in August 2018. Their charges, felony drug trafficking, which some have served life in prison for. And trafficking. Uh, is a much more serious offense than mere possession. Las Vegas attorney David Figler says the plea deal offered to Nicholas and Fargo is not like others he has seen before. Short of an investigation, I think that the call is to the district attorney to announce a policy that what's good for the billionaire is good for the indigent person, the uh, person who doesn't have access to those type of resources. The deal includes no prison time, community service, two drug counseling sessions a month, and a total of a million dollar donation between the pair to local drug treatment or addiction organizations. This money is desperately needed in our community, especially for addictions treatment. Advocates say the financial punishment could help up to 500 people receive addiction treatment in our community. Asking them to chip in to help repair and clean up that kind of a problem in other people's lives is perfectly appropriate. I want to see more of this. Figler says the deal, though, looks like money is greasing the wheels of justice. So if the judge does anything that the attorneys here don't like, that million dollars could go away. So it does look a little bit like an incentive, if not a bribe to the judge, to follow along with this deal. Attorneys for both Nicholas and Fargo say in part, quote, this positive agreement allows them to help people grappling with addiction by providing substantial financial support to programs in Clark County for treatment and rehabilitation, which have been shown to be an effective tool for combating addiction. 13 investigators reached out to the district attorney's office, which has no comment. The plea deal is expected to become official later this month. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Returning to weather now, and if you don't